the recording of You Ain't Seen Trouble Yet, a musical dream conceived, planned, and implemented by Haley Verrill. I met Burlington-based performer, producer, and sound engineer Michael Shotton in September 2013. Mike's experience. 1988, signed to A&M with Diamond Life. 1991, appeared on Boston's platinum fifth album, Walk On. Signed to EMI Records with his own original hard rock band, Von Groove. 1998, part of the Outpatient's debut album, Anxious Disease, with Axl Rose, Steve Stevens of Billy Idol fame, Louis Conti of Phil Collins. Played drums with Canadian band, The Spoons, the voice behind radio and TV commercials such as Coke, Labots, Coors, Crunchy, Foster's, and The Bay. 2001. Wrote, produced, and released 9-11 fundraiser song, The Heart of America. Formed the pop rock band Five Star Fall, which debuted the record Automatic Ordinary. Played, co-produced, and co-wrote with Rick Emmett debut album Liberty Manifesto for Airtime. 2007 wrote and co-produced Just Believe, the theme for the annual Canadian Special Olympics. Developed Mike's Garage TV show with support from Bob McGrath of Sesame Street. I soon began writing and co-writing my own songs. My first song was Young Gambler, and then I wrote One Step at a Time for a community event. I practiced those songs with Mike and the Sunday Night Band at the Black Swan Pub and Grill. I also played those songs at many events around the city and at other venues such as the Moonshine Cafe, Bo Sports Bar, and J&M Pub. In summer of 2014, I decided that I wanted to record a CD of original songs. I decided that I wanted to record four to five songs, so I would need to write more. I completed I Am What I Am and You Ain't Seen Trouble Yet. You Ain't Seen Trouble Yet was a co-written with country musician and a friend, J.P. Antha, who was in the process of recording his own original songs. I decided You Ain't Seen Trouble Yet would be a great title for my CD. So then there we go, Monday just come back, just things that I don't know. I continued to play at different venues and practice the songs that I would be recording on my CD. I also spent time promoting myself at my upcoming CD. There was an article about me in the Burlington Post on October 17, 2014, which noted that my CD would be available by the end of the year. I finally got into Mike's recording studio to start work on October 5th, 2014. We started off by talking about the recording process. I asked, what got you into recording? Mike said, I had recorded a lot of songs with other producers and I wanted to understand the process and be able to do it for myself. I wanted to make great music and I found the technical aspect fascinating. It has helped me bring together some really great musicians and I find that the results are always very rewarding. I asked, is recording something that all or some musicians should learn? Mike said, it's like anything. If you understand the process and understand what you are doing, the result will be better. So even if a musician doesn't plan to do recording themselves, it's good to have an understanding of the technical aspects of recording so that they can make the process smoother. I asked, 
How long do you think it would take to record a CD with about five songs? Mike said, It depends on what the song will involve. The more instruments that are involved, the longer it will take. Each instrument is recorded separately, so if the instrument needs to do several takes, it could take longer. It could take about three hours to record one song acoustically. I asked, what is the cost to record a song acoustically versus recording a song so it is radio ready? Mike said, you could probably record a song acoustically for a couple hundred dollars. To record a song so that it is radio ready can cost anywhere from a thousand dollars to four thousand dollars. You would have to take into account for all the instrumentalists you would need. Sometimes you can record an instrument and it doesn't fit or you decide you don't like the way it sounds so it needs to be redone. You might decide you want other vocalists to do backup tracks or harmonies. That costs money. Studio musicians charge a lot. Don't forget that they might not know the piece that they are playing, so it could take several takes to record the track. Once you've recorded everything, then you also need to account for mastering and mixing, which is all done separately for each song. In light of the costs involved, we decided that a good number of songs for me to record would be four, and that we would do them acoustically with me playing the guitar. I asked, what are the steps to record a song? Mike said, in my opinion, there are two things that you need to record a song. A great song and a great performer. You can have a really great song, but if you don't have a great performer, the recording probably won't be great. If you're recording a band, then the band needs to work as a team. You also need a, re a recording engineer who knows what he's doing, knows where to set up the microphones, knows how to bring out the best performance from the individuals who can hear what's going on in the song and make suggestions for making it better. We started out by recording Follow Your Dreams. We tested the speed of the song and set up a click track for me to play with. We tested out my acoustic electric guitar versus an acoustic guitar and found that the acoustic guitar sounded better with a mic.
The first thing we did was record a rough guitar track and a rough vocal track. We went back and redid the guitar track until it was perfect several times. Once the guitar track was perfect, we went back and redid the vocal track until it was perfect not as many times. Once the guitar and vocal tracks were perfect, we went back and added in harmony vocals. Next, we work on You Ain't Seen Trouble Yet using the same process. The third song we recorded was Young Gambler. Finally, we recorded I Am What I Am. The whole recording process for my four songs was around 13 hours. The songs are not mixed or mastered and they are not radio ready, even though they are very playable. I found out that it would cost $300 to $500 to get 100 CDs professionally duplicated and packaged, so I did that myself. The total cost of my CD, including my duplicating and packaging, was about $1,000. In order to recoup the cost of my project, I continued to, to play my original songs at different venues and promote myself. There was an article about me in the Burlington Gazette on November 30th, 2014, which mentions my CD. I have sold 11 CDs at $5 each and have given away about as many to people in the entertainment industry, co-writers, and the media. I look forward to completing my next musical project, which will also be my original songs. I saw that Mary Lou Monday just come by she thinks that I don't know how she's hitting on my guy Told her I could kill her, watched how she shook She didn't see it coming, I landed my right hook I said, honey, pardon me if I'd done something bad Please don't take it personal or walk away too mad My middle name is Trouble and on this one you Bet. Darling, you can trust me, you ain't seen trouble yet I left her lying lifeless on the floor I sped away, made her eat my dust I saw those flashing lights in my rear view I ain't gonna stop, no I ain't gonna stop I put the pedal to the floor until I lost that car I said, honey, pardon me if I'd done something bad Please don't take it personal or walk away too mad My middle name is Trouble and on this one you can bet Darling, you can trust me, you ain't seen trouble yet Went to see that cheating man of mine I keyed his car and kicked over his Harley I screamed his name and laughed the whole damn time He came out to the mess Then I cop rolled up I told her what that cheater did And then she locked him up I said, honey, pardon me but you've done something bad But I won't take it personal or walk away too mad Remember my name is Trouble and on this one you can bet Darling, you deserve it and you ain't seen trouble yet I said, honey, pardon me if I'd done something
something bad Please don't take it personal or walk away too mad My middle name is Trouble And on this one you can bet Darling, you can trust me You ain't seen Trouble